Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make easy old-fashioned goulash. This one-pot meal is a family favorite and it's ready in under 45 minutes. It requires a few fresh ingredients, a few pantry staples. Cook it all up in one pot and your family will be ready to eat. Get a large six-quart pot heating over medium-high heat. Then you'll add in two pounds of ground beef or you could do half sausage, half beef, and one diced onion and you can use either yellow or white. Then we're gonna let this cook, stirring occasionally, until the ground beef is browned and cooked through and the onions are tender, which will take about seven to 10 minutes. Then you'll want to drain any excess grease or liquids from the pot. Once the excess liquid is drained, add in five cloves of minced garlic, one and a half teaspoons of chili powder, and half a teaspoon of paprika. We're gonna build some flavor by letting this toast for about 60 to 90 seconds. Then, Pour in three cups of beef broth, 30 ounces of tomato sauce, which is pureed tomatoes, 30 ounces of diced tomatoes from a can, and that's undrained, so get the juices in there too. Then we'll add some seasonings with one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of onion powder. Give this a stir and bring it to a simmer over high heat. If you have some extra time, you can allow this to develop flavor by letting it simmer for another, oh, 10 to 15 minutes before you add in your pasta. But if you're short on time, once it comes to a boil, you can go ahead and add in two cups of elbow noodles. Give this a stir to move that pasta around and we'll let this simmer for about 15 minutes until the pasta is tender. The pasta is gonna add in a lot of starchiness and soak up some of that liquid. Goulash is not quite a soup, not quite a pasta. It's just a pot full of goodness. If you prefer yours to be less soupy and more pasta-like, you can add up to three cups of elbow noodles. Three cups would be just shy of one pound of pasta. So if you didn't simmer your liquid at all, you might be able to even get away with the whole pound if you want this to be more like a pasta with sauce. Once the pasta is al dente, you'll be able to stir in one and a half cups of shredded cheese. And I use either mozzarella or cheddar cheese for this. Stir it all in until it's nice and melty. And then that's it. You are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.